Hi guys, it's May 31, 2018. You know, you can really tell a person's moral character by what they do. Trump supporters, you should be outraged that this guy, Trump, is considering commuting the sentences of Rod Blagojevich and pardoning Martha Stewart and you can't tell me that Donald Trump has not heard of Dwight and Stephen Hammond. You cannot tell me that considering all of the petitions all over, you've got one on change.org, pardon Stephen Hammond and Dwight Hammond, two ranchers who are sitting in a federal prison they have been convicted as terrorists for doing what ranchers do, lighting a backfire. Nobody was injured, and that fire went on to, I think, 123 acres of land that was not the Hammonds. It was land considered to be owner, the owner, federal government. And <laughs> there was absolutely no damage, nothing, 123 acres. When the BLM starts fires and those fires rage out of control and they burn down hundreds of thousands of acres, this, the corruption going on to get Stephen and Dwight Hammond in jail for five years for doing what ranchers do. The purpose was to destroy them. And I've posted many videos on this, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to have to do the research yourself. It was to destroy them. Our federal government wanted their land and the BLM and the prosecutors went after Dwight and Stephen Hammond until they finally got him. I, and I think they were going after the Hammond family for, I don't know, 20 years. They finally got them in jail for five years. And Stephen and Dwight Hammond, they were the main ranchers. So when you lock up the main ranchers, you destroy that ranch. And that was the purpose. And I believe Dwight and Stephen Hammond they can get out of jail if they sign over their property to the BLM or some uh, government agency. I might have gotten a few details right, uh, wrong, but in essence, that is exactly that's exactly what has happened, and they're they're innocent. They've done nothing that ranchers don't do. The fire consumed a little bit more and no damage, no injuries, no nothing. And we have this guy, this disgusting, despicable pig in the White House. I'm sorry. I don't care that he's the president. I do not care that he's got billions of dollars. I don't care that he's the king of reality TV. I don't care who he is. I can't stand what he does. What he does. And then to watch all of these people support this guy. It's, it's stunning how the American people, on the whole, walk a disgraceful road. They, they live disgraceful lives. There's no honor. There's no... We are so dishonorable as a people. And then because he claims to be a Christian, just because he's put that label on himself, that's enough for him to get an awful lot of Christians to support him.
but they're probably living the same kind of life, certainly not with billions of dollars, but living the bullshit life. Hey, I got that label on me, so I'm good. Doesn't matter what I do, doesn't matter how I live. I'm just good because I call myself a Christian. Yeah, we've got plenty of them. So he, Trump, may pardon Martha Stewart, who lived what? Has lived an incredibly luxurious life. She gets put in jail for what? Um, five months? Five months. When she comes out of jail, she's whisked off by her private jet to a suburban New York airport, but she still had another five months to serve under house arrest, choosing to do it at her winter home, a 153-acre estate in Bedford, New York, bought for $16 million. Oh, poor Martha. She won't be able to visit her homes in Connecticut, Maine, and the Hamptons until August. That was in 2005. I think she went to jail in October uh, 2004. Oh, yeah, pardon Martha. So she comes out of jail, and she still lives her fabulous, luxurious life. And you have these two ranchers sitting in jail, and their ranch is getting so destroyed because they don't have the money that these people do. So Trump is considering pardoning Martha Stewart. And this, um, uh, Black, um, Blagovich, ah, God, I don't even care. It, this guy is so corrupt. Yet another governor goes to jail. I think he's number five of the Illinois governors going to jail. We know how corrupt Illinois is. We know how unbelievably corrupt is Chicago. Oh yeah, Barack Obama came right out of that corrupt system. He was convicted of, I think he got some felonies dismissed, but convicted of 12 or 13 felonies misuse of power, gubernatory power, power. He tried to sell, sell the Senate seat that Obama vacated. He was convicted of bribery, convicted of corruption. Yeah. So he's going to commute his sentence, make it shorter, or maybe pardon him? Well, what did Trump say about him? Trump said, oh, Rod, he got 18 years in prison for saying stupid things. That is what Trump said. Saying stupid things, really. This is the guy that's going to drain the swamp. He is swamp. And all of you Trump supporters, my God, you must love your delusion, and you must love think thinking that somebody else is going to fix the problems. Oh, and Trump, he's making America great again. You're doing exactly what the Obama supporters did for eight years, supporting a lying, psychopathic, narcissistic nut job in the White House as he destroyed this country, lying through his teeth, so does Trump. Trump comes into office, and then we just have, oh, let's just uh, change teams. Everybody up out of your seat and just move over to the other side. Now we've got the Trump supporters supporting this guy. He is absolutely despicable. Sorry, I, I, I'm not going to apologize. Dines D'Souza, he's out of jail. She's out of jail. This guy should remain in jail, and somehow Trump, well, he just said stupid things, forgetting about all of the felonies that this guy was convicted for. 
And Dwight and Stephen Hammond, still in jail. Oh, they're terrorists, those ranchers. My God, they lit a backfire. That's what ranchers do. Well, pardon Dwight and Stephen Hammond. It is on the White House. Their site. It needs 93,429 signatures by June 18 to get a response from the White House. I'm not even going to look at this until 100,000 people sign this petition. He should be looking at this anyway. Two innocent ranchers sitting in jail. Talk about a miscarriage of justice, my God. Yeah, and they were. Oh, double jeopardy. That's a no-no in our justice system. Unless you want to destroy people that own property that you actually want for yourself. Oh, that's right. Mr. Trump, he is he's the eminent domain guy. He doesn't care about destroying people's lives. If he wants property, he do, he goes all out to get it. Yeah, he's a great Christian. And he's going to drain the swamp. I don't know what to say anymore. Th th this country, Americans, man, wow. They are unbelievably screwed up. Few are healthy, of sound mind, of moral character, living the principles that they speak. The majority are so unbelievably delusional. And that includes an awful lot of the awake crowd. Well, once again, Will you circulate this? Will you call the White House? Demand that Dwight and Stephen Hammond be pardoned? Will you circulate it? Links are below.